So today is the day that the Filipinos are going to vote Marcos in. Marcos is a uh, one of those candidates that's 100% China. He's not going to maybe even worse than the dirt day. What I fear this is going to be the Philippines' last election. After this, there's going to be 100 pivot towards China. When you read comments online, there's like no love for America anymore. I mean, they hate America. I mean, how gangster is it for China to come in and take Philippine Islands, beat up their fishermen, take their gear, and say this is now our land? And people still say, well, I hate America. Nobody says they hate China here. Not one person says they hate China here. And, you know, it's not the Chinese people. It's the Chinese government, really. We, you know, you should never associate the people with the government. But unfortunately, once Marcos gets voted in today, a lot of people are going to lose jobs because under Philippine law, when the telecos, telecommunications companies move in, other companies, construction companies come in, they're allowed to hire their own people from overseas. It's a lot of Filipinos are not going to have work. And really, the election is going to go down to anybody that smokes cigarettes, drinks at the door, and red ores. They're going to vote for Marcos. Anybody that has a college degree is going to vote for Lenny. And, you know, some people are going to vote for Isco. Not a lot of people for Lokes. And it's a shame. Lokes, and I think, uh, uh, I wish he could have done a little bit better as far as campaigning. But, you know, but this might be the end of Philippine democracy because China's already making laws in Philippine waters. And once they get a hold of their own candidates and they start putting their own people in, they already own Manila Times, China does. They're already pointing people in, they're pro-Chinese. They're going to do the same thing they did in Hong Kong. You know, so if there is going to be an election, you're going to see just one candidate running from now on. That's all China's going to let. And it's a shame because America is the only country on earth that will spill blood for, you know, the Philippine people just right off the hand. We don't want them to be friends. We didn't do nothing to the Philippines. I know some people in America are racist. I know Donald Trump hurt some things, but that doesn't mean America won't be here for you. We don't like Donald Trump either, most of us. I don't like racism. But do you think we're racist? What do you think China thinks about the Filipinos, man? They don't look at you as equals. But it's a shame. It's a shame because there's going to be a complete breakdown. And uh, once China can get rid of America and the Philippines, there's nothing to stop China from just taking over everything. And Filipinos, y'all ain't ready for that. You guys don't even like Bay and Filipino rules. You guys drive without helmets. You guys drive with, you know, the flip-flops on, knowing it's illegal. You guys like to party and drink all night. You guys can't even stand your own laws in the country. What do you think is going to happen when China takes over, huh? You ain't going to have no choice. They're not going to be polite like the Philippine police. They're not going to ask you nicely. They're going to tell you, that's it. There ain't nothing you can do about it. So for all you Filipinos that are going to vote Marcos, you're going to have to take responsibility for your actions. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to take it. You can't complain when you lose your job. You can't complain if you're starving. You can't complain if there's inflation. You can't complain when China comes through. But all y'all that hate America, they don't talk bad about China when they're doing them once to you. And America's just saying, hey, we just want to be friends. We'll help protect you. That's it. That's what you hate. That's your limited mind thinking. You hate America because what? They went to Afghanistan. They freed Afghanistan. They put her, you know, they tried putting a democracy in. And don't get me wrong. I'm pretty upset about it too. A lot of us got hurt. A lot of us got hurt in Iraq. But Iraq said at least they get the vote. At least they're still up and running. Afghanistan, we had a lot of dumb military leaders. Don't get me wrong. We did. But that's what you're judging. Some of you are comparing America to what they're doing in Ukraine. No, we didn't go and bombing everything. We didn't go and raping civilians like that. We didn't go and killing people and executing them like that. What the hell is wrong with you guys in the Philippines? That's not what we did. We went in. We freed the people. We worked with the people. We helped build stuff. We made sure their schools. When we, America was in Afghanistan. You know, women got to go to school at all ages. They were respected. They got to be who they want to be, but you guys don't talk about that, right? You just said, oh, Lord, America's bad. Yeah, it's so bad they help women out. I don't know about the Filipinos anymore. You guys are just not thinking. You guys are starting to sound like Trump supporters. You're just blind and ignorance. You guys don't think things through. I tell you what, man. The next six years, it's going to be extremely hard to help the Filipinos out. This might be the last free election in the Philippines, man. I don't think the Philippines can handle six years. But after that, you guys are going to belong to China, man. They're going to take over your whole entire government. There's going to be laws. And you guys just ain't ready for it. You really ain't. 
Some of you are starving now. One out of five people lost their job in this last two years. It's a shame. It really is, man. I'm sorry that y'all hate America so much. Even though we just want, hey, we want to be your friends. China comes in, beats you all up, takes your stuff. Dries fishing prices up. I mean, guys are like, oh, we love China. China's perfect in every way, according to Robert Tiglow. So you know what? You guys are going to have to reap what you sow, man. That's just what it's going to have to be. Reap what you sow. But I tell you what, like they say in America, you're going to have to pay the piper.